the name Empress isn't really a common name, and I know somebody that named Empress, because I was going to tell you that restraining order is still valid. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To the people that matter, you 10 feet tall. This said God got me high as a bitch. Yeah. Who need to call me and talk to me? Hey, what's going on? My name is Kevin Gates. This is the Kevin Gates Helpline. This is my best friend and co-host, OG Booby Black. What we're gonna be doing today is taking calls from listeners all over the world helping them sort through some of life's issues. Make sure you stay tuned, because some of their questions may be the same questions you have. Who we got next on the line? Oh, my man. We got we got Damien from Colorado. Put him through. What up, Damien? Sir, how y'all doing? Man, we big old chilling up in here. Yes, sir. So today, my problem is, I was dating this girl. She was like my first girlfriend, like real girlfriend, you know what I'm saying, going on dates and stuff. So I like really, really loved her. She had broken up with me, mostly because of my, my behavior, just being kind of a toxic person and stuff. And I got a new girlfriend. I love her. She does a whole lot for me, but it's like, it's not, it doesn't feel the same. I got a, I got a question. First, how old are you? I'm 19. What's some of the things that you was doing that she said that was toxic? I was kind of hanging out with my homeboys and just doing illegitimate things. Like what? Talk to me. What's, what's happening? It's me. Like, I was kind of like running around the streets and stuff. So you wasn't present? No, not at all. Well, you know, that ain't a bad thing, you know? And after that heartbreak, now that you're in your new relationship, it's kind of hard for you to give your all to somebody because you'd have been scarred. Yeah. I, I know where you at with it, but I'm, I'm going to say this also. If you in something that you don't really care for and it ain't no passion there, you ought to let that person go be happy with somebody else. And, you know, you just keep trying on shoes and, baby, you're going to find a pair that fit. That's the hardest thing to pick yourself up off the floor after somebody just walk out your life. But at the end of the day, hey, you're going to learn how to fly again. Do you still, like, every now and then you be missing this old person and making comparisons? Like, man, she do this or she do that. Yeah, that's I, another I thing. Do. That's another thing you can't do because that's 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 almost like self sabotage and like you know I had a woman. I mean, you just look at me like you want somebody else to jump out of my face. Well, maybe I do. Yeah, you can't make comparisons though. You can't do that. That's another thing. You gotta really love this person for what it is about them. Understanding that everybody's different. You gonna learn how to fly. Again. You're a big player, man. You ain't number nineteen. You got your whole life ahead of you. Yeah, Damien, you young. You still got a whole life ahead of you. You heard me. Take my mind off this other bitch. And you here. just. This this your your starting phase because you said that was your first girlfriend or whatever. Yeah, that was just your yeah. first. That was your yeah, first. You just getting off the porch. You know? I mean, it's, it's gonna be a lot that you're gonna bump into. It's gonna yeah. be a lot that you're gonna do. Yeah, because I'm about to go to college here, a uh, diesel technology program because I want to open up a shop one of these days. Next thing you know, hey, you gonna find something. You gonna be you are gonna be dropping that land again or something. Yeah, you gonna be a big Peter build out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yep. Hey, you gonna be hauling them dry goods. <laughs> gotta give me a CDL too. Yeah, I need a CDL to operate this big motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna get up off the floor, but see, once I got my CDL, I'm about to park this bitch in a bitch <laughs> driveway, you heard? <laughs> With a trailer on the back, too. Oh, yeah. man, a reefer trailer. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all for the help, though. I appreciate you. Oh, man, you man, welcome, we bro. You ain't doing you, nothing man. wrong, bro. We all fall. We all have. Hey, we all fall so we can learn how to pick ourselves back up, man. Yeah, hey, man. man. All right, blessings on your journey, man. Blessings on your journey. Thank y'all. He probably got that one. You know, you always had that one that you know that, yeah. You know that? Yeah, that one that you yeah. thank God away. But God really did you a favor and removed it out your life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy how we be looking at shit, too. Yeah, we look at I it like, man, I had a good girl. She got away. No, she. Yeah, you got you had a beautiful distraction. <laughs> We got on the line, boo. Oh, we got Christina from Alabama. Christina from Alabama, yeah. Click in, let me see what she's talking about. What's happening, Christina? What's going on? How you doing? All right, so I got a question. Um, the man I'm with, he's incarcerated. So I wanted to know what did like what would he expect of me? So what did you expect of Drika while you were incarcerated? You just expect somebody to be there to the best of their ability. When you out of sight, you out of mind. So when a motherfucker could beat her, you know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing, baby. You know, I don't know the deep details on what I'm trying to say, but... Oh, this I your first time This your first time holding somebody down on a bed? 
basically is. How long y'all been together? Since like with ten years. Oh, so you didn't meet this person in jail? No, I knew him before he went to jail. Oh, okay. How long he got? He got like eight. He's done. He's done like four already. But you know, it's rocky, of course. I want to ask you a question. Uh huh. Do you love this man? Yes. Sincerely. Sincerely. If I was that man, what I would expect from you is to be there, you know what I'm saying? Because when you're in a jailhouse, it's like you're, you're somebody in the wheelchair. You need help, you know? So it's like, I don't know what you what you got going on or what you, you know, how you're living, but um, every now and then, you know, you know, send him something. Every now and then, send him a, send him a letter, you know what I'm saying? Send him a card or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Even when he don't ask it's just for it. It's just about being there for him, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and he appreciate that more than anything. You got to understand that. When when a person in confinement, it's just them and their emotions. Even if he get mad at you for nothing, sometimes it's just gonna be him in a projectatory stage. I, Cause I'm guilty of that too. Like I'd be on the phone, and I'm not getting the type of energy that I feel like I want from the person at the time. Like why you ain't saying that? You know what I'm saying? Or I'm, I'm guilty of those things. Projecting. What are you expecting from this this man? And he honestly gives me what I said. He he still try to take care of me while he's in there. He lets me know that he loves me and all that. It's just I just want to make sure I'm available for him and his emotions. All I can tell you is just be patient. And be patient with him and understand that every day not going to be a good day. He already in a... Yeah, he under pressure. He a lot already pressure. In, a, in an uncomfortable situation. Stop putting all that pressure on yourself and know that you're doing the right thing. See, I'm trying to build that to stop beating up myself and know that I'm doing, you know, I'm doing good. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to be the first to tell you you're doing a great job. I appreciate that. Shit. Four years? They got motherfuckers out there ain't going to be there for four hours, four days. I just want you to know you're a good woman. I salute you. Hopefully y'all be blessed and have everything that y'all want and y'all live a good life. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate you, man. Thank y'all for taking my call today. Thank you for calling. Blessings on your journey. Blessings. She too real to know that she real. It's yeah. Just in her. You know, I'm talking about it's, it's just in her. Yeah, we had some, we had some interesting people call today. This said God got me high as a bitch. Say, like, who we got on the line? Oh man, we got Empress from Georgia. Empress from Georgia. Yes, indeed. Sound like somebody I know. Mm -hmm. Which one to do? Click in or what? Yeah, click in. Click in. Let me. You sure? Empress from Georgia. Click them in, let's see. I just want to see. All right, let's see what's happening. Hey, how are you guys? We're great. How are you? I got a question. Yes. Do we know each other? No, I wish we did, but we don't. The name Empress isn't really a common name, and I know somebody named Empress. Oh, okay. Because I was going to tell you that restraining order is still valid, okay? <laughs> uh oh, no. No, I'm just, uh... hey, no, I'm just, hey. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. You ready to help me? I'm ready to listen. So, my past relationships have ended because of, I guess, just um, being unfaithful. And I literally just ended my engagement because he was being unfaithful and also search. And I found Google searches of him looking for escorts and prostitutes. Is there any warning signs that I should look out for to avoid being hurt like that again? To help you answer that question, I got to talk about me first. I was always commitment shy. I would do things to self-sabotage a relationship once my feelings got too heavily involved. And the reason I would do these things because a good woman is very, very intimidating. When a good woman come in my life and she do everything and she so perfect, I, look, I used to look at that like responsibility. So sometimes it was easier for me to just fuck it up because I couldn't fail if I didn't try. Right. When you look at look for an escort or a prostitute, you know, after I nut, the thrill is gone. And it's no commitment. I don't have to act responsibly. I don't have to care about that person's emotions or anything because it was a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You can scram. You never know what kind of emotional traumas and patternistic behavior that he probably had that stemming from his past. But I'm going to be honest. Once I was provided with the space to be honest about everything, it elevated me to a level. I'm talking about out of this world. Well, I kind of learned some of that from you when you say um, you never know what you can get unless you ask. Baby, I know we have an agreement, but I just want to amend the terms. Yeah, Empress, you got to talk about the situation with him. You know what I'm saying? Let him know what it is. Let him know how you feel and let him know what you want to do. I fuck you with know you, know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I fuck with him. I, I fuck said, with fuck you. Fact. Thank you know you what I'm saying? A lot of people don't miss their water till they wear a run dry, but that. they got some men out there that would, hey, really love on you. 
We love yeah. your mindset, Empress, and we love your name. Yeah, I'm loving your mindset. Thank you. Thank you. You have a blessed day on your you're, journey, you're, love. You're a good woman. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, love. You too. All I want to say is, I fuck with her. Yeah. I fuck with her. Man, if more people in the world was like her, man, the world would be a... It'd be a beautiful place. Even more beautiful place, because it's beautiful, I'm <laughs> sure. It's abundant. Yes. Thank you for tuning in to the Kevin Gates Helpline. I'm Kevin Gates. This is my best friend and co-host, OG Booby Black. And let me leave you with this. Protecting your energy is not a crime. So would these be bloopers? <laughs> I like bloopers. You know, like on Step Brothers, yeah. Dumb and Dumber, they had the bloopers that show after the movie? Yeah. Like on Rush Hour, they had the bloopers? Oh, no. Is Will Ferrell the dude that played in Anchorman? 